your phone says 1942, your wall clock shows 1943, and your microwave has been stuck at 1930 since last week's power outage. And I ask you, what time is it really? Better yet, what if I told you that deep down, none of these times matter, because time doesn't even exist? Sounds crazy, I know. You wake up, check the clock, rush to work, schedule meetings, celebrate birthdays. Your entire life is organized around this thing we call time. But what if it's all just a collective illusion? A trick of your mind trying to make sense of the chaos of the universe? Think about it. When you watch a movie at the theater, what do you see? A flowing story, characters moving, time passing. But what's really there? A sequence of static images, projected so quickly that your brain connects them, creating the illusion of movement. What if your life was exactly like that? A series of frozen moments that your consciousness flips through like a book, believing it's living in the present? While you're wondering if you left toast in the toaster or calculating whether you'll finish watching this video before bedtime, history's greatest physicists and philosophers have been breaking their heads trying to understand what this thing we call time actually is. Aristotle said that time is the measure of movement. Like when you look at that spider crossing your wall and think, man, it's taking forever. Newton went further and treated time as an absolute line that moves forward regardless of what happens. Like that bank queue that keeps advancing even when you step out to grab that document you forgot. Then Einstein came along and turned everything upside down. He proved that time isn't the same for everyone. Your now isn't the same now for someone traveling in a supersonic aircraft. And this isn't cheap social media philosophy, it's mathematically proven physics, tested with ultra-precise atomic clocks. Imagine your best friend traveling in a spacecraft at a speed close to that of light. Okay, he has a rich friend. For him we. You, he's been gone 10 years. But when he returns, he's only aged a few weeks. Time literally ran slower for him. Strange? Yes, real? Also, yes. This relativity of time is enough to mess with your head. But let's go further. What if I told you that for some physicists, past, present, and future all exist simultaneously? This idea is known as the space-time block. Think about your favorite book. All the pages exist simultaneously, right? The character's death in chapter 20 is already there, even when you're only on page 10. The author doesn't need to rewrite the story every time you turn a page. Now apply this to the universe. What if all moments, the day you were born, this exact instant when you're watching this video, and that future where you might become a millionaire, already exist, permanently frozen in a kind of cosmic book? Think of it this way. If the cosmic book is already completely written, including all your future decisions, are you really choosing anything? Or are you just following a predetermined script with the illusion of making decisions? It's like, those video games where you think you're choosing the character's destiny, but in reality, the developers have already programmed all possible endings. You're just discovering which path you're following, but all paths existed even before you turned on the console. This is a disturbing idea because it touches on something fundamental about how we view ourselves. If we don't really have choice, what's the point of responsibility? Of guilt? Of merit? Our entire moral structure seems to depend on the idea that we can freely choose our actions. Some philosophers try to reconcile the space-time block with free will by saying that even if the future already exists, it exists because our choices shape it. It's like saying, the book is already written but you wrote it. Confusing? Welcome to the club. In this model, time doesn't really flow. What flows is your consciousness, navigating through these pages like a reader going through a Story. You're not living events. You're just becoming aware of them, one after another. But I feel time passing. You might argue. Of course you do. Your brain was programmed by millions of years of evolution to perceive patterns, sequences, before and after. It's a survival tool. If our ancestors couldn't distinguish between the lion is far away and the lion is about to devour me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Have you noticed how elastic time seems? An hour at the gym drags on as if it were three, while an hour playing your favorite video game flies by in minutes. When you're bored in a queue, each second lasts an eternity. But when you're on vacation, an entire week disappears in the blink of an eye. If time were something objective and rigid, why would our perception of it change so much? 
It's like that cake smell that instantly takes you back to your grandmother's kitchen, 20 years ago. For a moment, the past is more present than the present. Your brain, that master of illusion, playing with your temporal perception. And what about quantum physics? Oh, that complicates everything even more. In the microscopic world of particles, things get really strange. A particle can be in several places at once, until someone observes it. It's as if the simple act of looking forced the universe to make up its mind. Remember Schrodinger's famous cat? That thought experiment where a cat in a box is simultaneously alive and dead until someone opens the box to check? The idea is disturbing. Does reality only define itself when there's a consciousness looking at it? And if so, does time only happen when we're paying attention to it? Julian Barber, a physicist who dedicated his life to studying time, goes even further. He argues that time simply doesn't exist. Period. What exists are static configurations of the universe, like frozen photographs, which he calls nows. Our mind creates the connection between these static moments, like someone flipping through a photo album very quickly, creating the illusion of movement. It's like when you look at the stars in the night sky. The light you see now might come from a star that exploded thousands of years ago. Your now is seeing that star's distant past, and someone millions of light years away could, theoretically, be observing Earth's past. For this alien observer, perhaps dinosaurs are still alive, roaming what would one day become Manhattan. Who's living the true now? You or the alien? Something truly fascinating about the laws of physics is that they don't care about the direction of time. Gravity, electromagnetism, nuclear forces, they all work equally well forwards and backwards. If you filmed two billiard balls colliding and then showed the film backwards, nobody would point and say, that's impossible according to the laws of physics. The only thing that seems to give time a direction is entropy, this universal tendency of things to go from order to disorder. That's why your room naturally becomes messy, not organized. That's why a glass breaks easily but never repairs itself. That's why you age instead of getting younger. But even entropy is just a statistical matter. It's not impossible for all air molecules in a room to suddenly move to one corner. It's just extremely unlikely. So unlikely that you could wait longer than the age of the universe and still not see it happen. Or maybe with each decision, the universe splits into infinite parallel realities. That's what the fascinating many worlds theory proposes, developed by physicist Hugh Everett in the 1950s. According to Everett, when a quantum particle faces multiple possibilities, it doesn't choose just one. It realizes all of them simultaneously, but in different universes that branch off at that instant. Applied to our lives, Everett's theory suggests something impressive. At this exact moment, there would be a you who decided to stop watching this video, another who continued watching, and perhaps even one who never started watching it. And all these yous would be equally real living in parallel universes that multiply with each microsecond. An infinite multiverse where all quantum possibilities manifest in distinct and complete realities. Perhaps time is like that magic trick that fascinates you even though you know there's a trick. You see the magician do the impossible and, even while trying to figure out how it was done, you can't help but feel amazed. Time might be the universe's greatest illusion and yet still govern every second of your existence. Einstein once said that the distinction between past, present, and future is only a stubbornly persistent illusion. And maybe he was right. Maybe all we have are moments, perpetual nows, and the rest is just our mind trying to organize chaos. The next time you look at the clock in a hurry, remember, maybe you're not really racing against time. Maybe you're just shifting your Focus of consciousness within a universe where everything already exists, frozen in eternity. But after all, what is reality if not what we experience? If we feel time passing, if we live in the present moment, perhaps that's real enough. Even if it's just a page of a cosmic book that has already been entirely written, or maybe not. Maybe we're just scratching the surface of a much greater mystery. Like that dream where you know you're dreaming but still can't wake up. The true nature of time might be beyond our current understanding. Like trying to explain the internet to someone from the Middle Ages. 
Will we ever completely understand the nature of time? Or will it always remain, in part, a mystery? One thing is certain, the more we learn, the more questions arise. And perhaps that's the true charm of science. It constantly reminds us of how much we still have to discover. As a famous physicist once said, the question isn't what is time, but why do we perceive time the way we do? Who knows, someday we might find the complete answer. Or perhaps we've already found it in some parallel universe, in that branch of reality where you decided to study quantum physics instead of watching this video. If you enjoyed this journey through the mysteries of time, don't forget to leave. A like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to be updated about our next videos. Share your thoughts in the comments. Is time real for you? Or have you already suspected it might be an illusion? Because knowledge is just the beginning.